Well, he did an update. I'll admit I'm a little bit worried, but not about the thing you guys might be worried about. Hey guys, for those of you who have been following this channel ever so oddly and very intermittently for any kind of post updates about the Undergrads movie that I did not stop talking about long ago, I had the outro from Nitz provided by Pete Williams, the show creator, kind of giving as many updates as I could about the movie. Admittedly, I kind of fell out of doing it because Pete was not exactly the most forthcoming with updates. He was doing two jobs at the same time. He was working his full-time job and doing updates about the undergrads movie. While he wasn't forthcoming with giving us updates, he was definitely doing stuff on the side as he would show when he did do his updates. And he just did one recently, and this was the note that I had been worried about for quite some time. While the Kickstarter was technically speaking a success, it definitely was not enough money to warrant making a full movie. The idea was to make a pitch for investors, for stations like Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, and whatever, whoever was willing to support it and sponsor it and produce it to make it into a full-length film. We're launching this Kickstarter campaign to fund the first phase of pre-production. We want to demonstrate the commitment of our fans and prove to potential investors that there truly is an audience to support the making of this project. And I was a little bit worried with every year that passed because animation just became less and less of a thing. And then when Netflix basically slashed their entire animation department recently, that was when I was basically thinking, ah, shit, I have no idea how this movie's getting made. And lo and behold, Pete just did an update talking about it and he didn't exactly have the most positive update about it. Not so much in sense of he isn't not trying and it's not over, but it definitely has hit a wall. Alas, to date, our efforts in selling the movie and securing that additional funding have proven unsuccessful. It has become painfully obvious that our chances of someone like Netflix investing in this project anytime soon are looking slimmer and slimmer. Everything that they have tried in terms of trying to get a sponsor, trying to get a producer has not been successful. They do have a pretty good metric to rely on is how much money the Kickstarter made. The Kickstarter did make over $100,000, but the problem is it basically died right after we got up to that number. Once we got there, it was the, that, that was it. I in the background was still like, hey, the more money they get, the more likely this is to become a thing. And so that's why I just kept pushing it. And that's why I just kept on trying to drive up more and more traffic towards it. I quit my day job. He ain't working for the man no more. So screw you with some sexual harassment on top. I'm happy to say that as of January 1st of this year, the undergrads movie is now officially my full-time job. I feel for the dude. Not to say that this isn't possible. We've seen other animators do such things there is the guy who made the fall of reach mini film and he's actually done a bunch of other ones once for stalker he's doing one for fallout right now while it wasn't a full length feature these are pretty intense near on half hour long videos that have really good animation very amazing production value i just feel for the guy because he is committed to this even though he has tried and i worry about him more than anything that's my fear i worry about his personal health i worry about his mental health if anything if anyone does have any kind of comments to give to him please let it be positive because he has taken a huge elf on his own livelihood to make this movie happen the fact that he quit his job i was like oh my gosh he's in a good mood in his video and I'm very, very happy for him, but I do worry about him. So any of you guys who can, don't comment here, go to that update video. I'll, I'll have it appear up here and I'll also have it at the end. Please go to his page and give him some positive feedback. I'm about to go and do that myself because he needs that. He's going to need every bit of positive attitude that he can get to make this be done. Any kind of big negative comment is going to put more stress on the man and he's already put a truckload on himself at this point. So let's support Pete. I'm very interested to see how this goes regardless. I know that some people won't be able to come back, I guess, from budget-wise. There are some people he won't be able to get or you'll have to get alternatives for. I remember when we did our radio show interview ages back when I had a radio show. The guy who voiced Stoner Dave is... Fucking Murdoch from Murdoch Mysteries, Yannick Benson. That show's gone on for nearly two decades. 
So I don't know if he'll have enough money to hire him to come back to voice Stoner Dave of all people. Like I said, let's give Pete all the positive support you can. He's going to need it. He's taking a big risk for us to make this movie. And I cannot emphasize how much I appreciate that. But I do hope that he himself is okay, first and foremost. This can't happen without him. So let's give him all the positive support we can, guys. If you do like undergrads and you want to keep up to date, go check out the undergrads page. I'll have a link in the description and I'll probably have something at the end of this video as well in the thumbnails. So I'm happy that there's been an update. I am a little bit like, oh dear. I am overly worried um, for Pete because I want him to be well. I want him to be happy. I want him to keep his sanity in check because I know he's going to take a lot for doing this, but I hope everything's okay on his end. So let's give him the best support we can, guys. That's all from me. See you guys next time.